it must have been the PlayStation 5 showcase yesterday. If Sony was not going to do one PlayStation store sale, but hell, they did two PlayStation store sales. So everybody that was disappointed that the pre-orders were botched going live, they could spend their money on buying PlayStation 4 games. Okay, yeah, maybe that's a little bit of a stretch. But nevertheless, another sale is live right now in the game's under $20 sale. This one a little bit small, only about 150 deals or so, but definitely some good ones that have caught my eye right away. And we're going to go through this live. This is literally my first time taking a look at this sale. I didn't get a chance to go through this yesterday just because we're so busy with the PS5 showcase. Nevertheless, let's talk it right away on the top row. Rayman Legends, 75% off for five bucks. That's a steal of a deal. Rayman Legends is awesome. Rayman Origins was awesome, but I thought Legends was an even better game. I don't know why Ubisoft isn't more committed into Rayman. You know, I'm not privy on the sales numbers of Rayman. Maybe it's not the best selling franchise in the world, but it is a PlayStation Hits title. I don't know what that means, but $5 for this great platformer. Great visuals in this one as well. Very charming game. High recommendation. Team Sonic Racing, 50% off for $19.99. Okay deal here wouldn't say it's a complete steal, but 20 bucks for a solid arcade racer, it's not bad. It's either you get this or you get CTR, uh, depending on which IP you like better. Uh, what else we got here? Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey is down to $20. I guess that's pretty decent for 20 bucks. Uh, that's a relatively recent release as well. That was actually done by, I believe, a developer that initially worked on the very first Assassin's Creed game. Don't quote me on that, but I'm fairly certain that that is the case. Don't Starve Together console edition $5.99 steep 75% off for $7.49 this was a pretty cool game um you know, it was one of those titles in typical Ubisoft fashion. It got much better with updates. Uh, I'm a fan of, like, extreme sports and things of that nature. But, you know, if you're not a big fan of that type of genre, maybe it won't be for you. But I still think it's a solid game all around. Battlefield won 8 bucks. Uh, that's relatively decent. Mad Max is on sale. I saw Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is on sale as well. That's pretty good. Uh, Black Sod Under the Skin, that's 20 bucks. Not a bad deal for that, honestly. Uh, as that gets cheaper and cheaper, I think it'll be a more palatable pickup. The issue with that was, honestly, it was released at a full $50 price point, and that's a pretty, pretty steep price to pay for a game like that. It's akin to, you know, like a Telltale experience or something like that, but I really dug the look of the game, and I think the main character is cool as hell. Like, I'm not too familiar with the comics of this and things like that, but I was like, damn, yo, this dude looks cool as hell, and that's kind of what uh, enthralled me about the game in the first place. But, yeah, 20 bucks for it, definitely more palatable than the initial uh, $50. I thought it was $40 initially, but, you know, Playing so many games, buying so many games that I forget a lot of the specific nuances. Need for Speed Deluxe Edition, $7.49. Wolf Among Us, $4.49. Absolute steal. In my opinion, this is the best Telltale game. I've had a lot of people disagree with me on that. That's a fair uh, point to make. Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 were tremendous, but I thought Wolf Among Us was awesome. Main character is one of the best main characters, not only in these Telltale video games. Let's just you know, put out any limiters. Let's say he was one of the best ma main characters in any video game, and thank God we are getting a Season 2. I was so depressed when Season 2 was cancelled all those years ago, but now we know that will be coming to fruition, so that's great to hear. Great game. Uh, pretty easy platinum trophy, I believe, too, so uh, yeah, you could get that rather easily. I'll, I believe all the Telltale games are easy platinum. Like, I know the Walking Dead games, I believe if you just play through them, like, I have the platinum. I, it was so long ago that I don't remember if it took me a couple playthroughs. I'm pretty sure if you just beat it once, you get the platinum trophy so yeah if you're into that batman the enemy within season pass 449 i actually played um the first season of this replayed it kind of recently and I didn't dig the first season that much, but I thought Enemy Within was a lot better. Uh, I would recommend you to pick up Telltale Batman Shadows Edition. This includes the first season and the second season and the Shadows mode, which uh, is a pretty interesting take on the whole uh, Batman presentation in these Telltale games. So that's only nine bucks, so that's pretty good. I would give that a recommendation. Uh, we got some DB Fighters DLC Un Unravel Yarny Bundle, $8.99. That's Unravel 1 and 2 for nine bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Hell Divers Super Earth Ultimate Edition, great game. Was this done by Housemark? I don't remember off the top of my head. Th this is like, this, it feels like a Housemark game. Okay, it's not done by Housemark. It was done by Arrowhead uh, Game Studios. But if you've played a Housemark game, Helldivers is going to be very, very reminiscent of that. It's a high-octane, over-the-top action, top-down shooter. A lot of fun with friends. Strong recommendation. Ten bucks, maybe. 
I mean, you know, it came out at $40, so 10 bucks for the Ultimate Edition, I think, is pretty good. Uh, jump in that with a couple of friends. If you buy it and play it solo, not that great, but if you can convince a couple of buddies to jump in with you, great, great game. Uh, Sniper Elite Ultimate Edition, $8. Sniper Elite is one franchise that I'm surprised isn't more popular. I mean, sniping is something that's, like, super popular, like, you know the quick scoping all that garbage and if you not garbage that's a that's a little harsh but uh sniping is just a very marketable thing i feel like in a shooter and sniper elite i feel like never resonated at a high level but i thought sniper elite 3 was pretty good so eight bucks for that i think is a solid pickup watchdogs gold edition 989 I think Watch Dogs 1 isn't terrible. I think it got a lot of flack that was a little bit undeserved. Uh, Watch Dogs 2, in my opinion, is without a doubt the better game, but not a bad game. Nine bucks for it isn't that terrible. Next Machina, five bucks. That also feels very much like a housemark game because it is a housemark game. I'm forgetting the game's housemark developed. I'm getting them all mixed up. But uh, Next Machina was an awesome shoot em up. Five bucks for that is uh, really solid as well. That's a housemark through and through, so definitely go check that one out. What else we got as far as sales? Just Cause 4 Gold Edition, 18 bucks. Strange Brigade, 12 49 Trails of Cold Steel 3 DLC, give him the damn game on sale. Uh, what else we got? Motorcycle Club, 2 dollars Shadow Warrior, 7 dollars Okay, we're talking there. That's a pretty good one. Uh, Shadow Warrior 3 is in development so far, only announced for uh, PC, but solid deal here. So, uh, pretty good deals all around. What I've noticed is... Uh, I guess the list that I saw of the deals that were alive crossed over some of the double discounts deal as well as the games under $20 sale, so I definitely missed out on mentioning some deals that are available in the double discount sale, and yeah, I'm seeing that right away, like, I just popped over to the double discount sale, Yakuza Kiwami is uh, $9.99, Greedfall is only $17, that's a great deal, uh, that's awesome. Uh, Warhammer Vermintide 2, $11. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Digital Deluxe for $30. That's not bad. Dishonored Complete, $30. Uh, a lot of good deals here. Okay, so we definitely have to go back to the drawing board and figure out uh, exactly what are the best deals. So expect the videos to cover both these sales more in depth. I really have to sit down and actually assess all these deals. We've been busy with the PS5 stuff, but, you know, we'll get to it very, very soon. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are, like, fuming at the mouth. Maybe you didn't pick up a PS5. Maybe, you know, you have some extra cash now if you want to pick up some PS5. PS4 games, hey, PS4 is going to be here to stay. Uh, I believe it was confirmed yesterday that Horizon Forbidden West is going to be a cross-generation title, so even not getting a PS5 right out of the gate, that's not the worst idea in the world, but that's going to conclude this video. Two pretty good sales live right now, so check it out. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Alpha live this Friday, I believe, so I want to make mention of that because I probably won't do a dedicated video on that, but that's going to be free, so you can check that out. That'll wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.